Today we've come together to understand vernal pools, uh, both the biology of vernal pools and how we identify them. The conservation easement covers a huge area of 363,000 acres and this uh, Color IR mapping project to identify potential vernal pools will help us narrow down the areas that we need to visit. We are standing in a classic vernal pool, an isolated uh, depression, a wetland that has filled up with either snow melt or rainwater this spring. Uh, this pool will likely drain and dry out uh, later this spring, uh, middle of the summer, and that's what makes it a vernal pool. Therefore, it doesn't have any fish, and therefore, these spotted salamander eggs and other amphibians that bred and are breeding in this pool uh, will not be predated upon by fish and have a much higher chance for survival. Plum Creek employed the latest in remote sensing technology uh, produced by the Sewell Company here in Maine to map and uh, locate these vernal pools using infrared photography. In layman's term, this technology has been uh, utilized in one form or another for many years. It's uh, simply taking aerial photographs, viewing them in stereoscopic and, uh, and locating what you're interested in. I look at each and every one of these 50-acre hexagons and investigate it, and I just start searching. As I searched, I came across this area here. Now, this area sets in a depression, and I see some indication of water in here. The ground is higher this way, the ground is higher this way. That could be a vernal pool. So I then give it a uh, location, and the foresters will then eventually check that out. We've worked with Sewell on many projects in the past. But this is probably the most cutting edge project that we've done with Sewell. And it has allowed them to identify the numerous potential vernal pools over this 360,000 acre conservation easement.